Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to configure your driving wheel with MAME. So it's a super easy process, uh, but there are a few things that you have to know in order to get it done. So I didn't know this, so for me it was a huge pain uh, to get this set up. It was actually to a point where I was just ready to, to trash this uh, and, and get a new one simply because I thought that my mistakes were, uh, th that this was having some type of issue. Uh, my issue was my own. I'm just an idiot, so that was my issue. But once I figured out what was happening, uh, I was just able to super easily be able to get it set up. So most of these games are already set up here. There's one that I have not set up, which is Outrunners. So what I'm gonna do now is just set it up so you guys can see. Okay, so there's Outrunner, so let's put, oh, Let's put a coin in there. This is a five speed. So as you can see, it doesn't work right. So, okay. So as you can see here, I'm pushing the gas. Nothing's happening. I'm able to change the music, um, and nothing's happening here. So I'm not able to do anything, basically. So there's there's nothing going on, so it's not set up. So now, let's set it up. So the first thing you'll need is your keyboard. So if you've never done this before, you will need a keyboard because that's the way that you get into the menu settings. Typically, if you haven't changed it, if you haven't edited the settings, uh, it's just tab. So in this case, I've changed the settings. Actually, let me lower this. Okay. So in my case, I've already set specific hotkeys to go into uh, main settings, which is a start and the triangle. So we're there. So we want to go to this controller, this game's controller, and here's everything. So I've already set these buttons up. So the paddle analog. So you want to press X and then just move the wheel right or left, and it says Joy 2 LSX, and then here's the one where it gets specific. So this is left, actually, let me delete that and start over. This is also why you wanna have a keyboard handy too, even if you've already set up uh, how to get into the main settings, because it's easy to delete. When you wanna delete, let's say you messed up and you added a bunch of commands by accident, you just press delete, and then it goes back to none. So here, I actually deleted the wrong one too. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. So here you wanna go left, and then delete. Actually, there's a button back there, so I pressed it, so let's try it again. Okay, so there, paddle one. So this is the accelerator, okay? So now here's where we wanna press the accelerator, but there is a trick to this one. So if we press X and we just press it once, it just says RT. So this won't work, unfortunately. We have to set it where it says RT minus. And the way we do that was just press X, press the gas again. So there's RT plus, still won't work. So we do it again and now Press it again. Now it's RT minus. So that's where it registers that when you press the gas or when you press that specific pedal, it presses the gas. Okay, and then we'll just delete that. We don't need that one. So same thing again for pedal number two, this is, which is the brake. Press it once. It goes to left trigger. No, nope, we don't want that. Left trigger plus, we don't want that left trigger minus, that's the one that we want. So we can delete that, we don't need those. Um, and that's basically it here. Then player one, coin button is already set. So that's it, that's basically how you do it. Uh, these are already set up. So joy A is button A here. So it's A, B, X and Y. So I already set these up. But that's the, the biggest thing is setting up the steering wheel. Uh, 
and which are these three. So basically the first one is just you go any direction and then the second two are specific left then right. And then you wanna set up the analog pedal or pedal one as right trigger minus and then the brake as left trigger minus. Um, and then you can go to analog control. So here's where you set up the sensitivity Paddle, uh, paddle digital speed auto center um, and then you can play with these just to see uh, how how you like your settings so that's going to be a preference thing um, so, okay so let's put a coin in there press the ignition key uh, we'll do that i don't know i'll see now when i attempt to move it it actually works uh, we'll choose whatever that one and then this is a two speed so as you can see the x or i'm sorry the pedal now works as uh, to select so pressing the gas and as you can see i'm going and burning some rubber there um i don't know how to change gears that's actually one thing I didn't realize how to uh, pedal up. I just realized I don't think there is an option for gear change, which is kind of weird. Okay, well, I'll play with that later. But you guys get the gist of it of how to set that up. So now I'm pressing on the gas. And I'm actually just changed that. How did I change that? Oh, okay, I guess it's... Uh, it's to change the speed, it's X. Okay, gotcha. So there you have it. That's how easy it is. Uh, the only thing is if you don't know those two things, it makes it really, really difficult. One thing that I would definitely recommend that I did, one of the mistakes that I made was I actually had a, I had actually had two keyboards connected, which really messed things up. Uh, and the reason I had two keyboards is by mistake because I have one of those two-in-one deals where you have a mouse and a keyboard, which I totally forgot about the keyboard. And then I was trying to hook up another USB keyboard and it, it, it was just a nightmare trying to trying to get that uh, figured out. Once I did that, configuring was super easy. So there it is. There you have it. That's how, that's how easy it is to set up. Super easy to set up. Also super easy to mess up. So just keep that in mind, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, and thank you so much for your patience. Please like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next one.